pretty sure this is one of the Tickington areas in Dragon Quest XI. It was either Rose Hill or something related to Rose. Like Rose's house or something? Or maybe it was Rose Hill, I can't recall. Yeah, I'll be going up here, don't mind me. I want that treasure chest. I bet I can't even get that treasure chest, but boy do I want it. Yeah, these are just for show. How long has it been since you first came here? First came here, words. Well, however long it's been, I hope you think of us as family now. We're always here to help, you know. Anything in here? Alright. No going through cabinets. Well, well, well. How do I talk to you? Oh, I just have to ring the bell. That's a new one. How do? Ah, there you are, lad. Well, I'm sure you know why I'm so eager to see you. That's right, I want to talk about that curse of yours, the one that stops you from harming monsters. I know you've been burning the midnight oil researching ways to rid yourself of it, and we've got you to thank for that magic barrier protecting Rose Hill from human folk and wild monsters. Everyone in the village is grateful to you, lad, to think you just wandered into in loss one day, and now you're like family. But truth be told, we're no closer to finding a cure for your curse than the day you came. Which is why I think it's time to try a new approach. And that approach is... Uh, hold on a minute, where did I put my blessed notes? A plot reason for why you need to become a monster wrangler? I can respect it. Hey, what's all this? Oh, Blumenek. <sighs> Don't tell me. You losers didn't have a barrier blast yet. <laughs> so this is the village he's hiding in. So your blighters are back again, are ya? Well, I'm not stunned for it. Oh. <coughs> this one's no pushover. <laughs> you really think you stand a chance against us? That dude is dead. Who do we have here? Oh! You look like him. You smell like him. No doubt about it. You're the one our master seeks. You're so lucky I don't have the secret of evolution. Why does my sword look like the Vorpal sword? From Tales of. Get away! You you can't do it! What's the matter, boy? Struck dumb with fear, are you? You can't! You can't do harm to a monster! It's your lucky day! A certain important someone wants a word with you. Oh, this is the pterodactyl monster. It's in Dragon Quest XI. Right, my darlings. Kindly let these monkey monsters know they've outstayed their welcome. I don't know these two monsters. They were not in Dragon Quest XI. The one on the right definitely wasn't. The one on the left I don't think was either. You're not hurt, are you, lad? Good. Good. I'm just glad I made it in time. I knew we'd be having unwelcome guests again. But I just didn't expect them quite so soon. Hmm? You're keen to know who these monsters are? Well, I'll tell you all about it later. First things first. We need to tend to the injured. 
And I've got just the monster for the job. This way. I'm begging the game to give me the options screen. <laughs> the voices are so quiet. But if I make it louder on Streamlabs, then the music's gonna be too loud. Now, lad, where were we? As I'm sure you know, this isn't the first time monsters have come to the village hoping to find you. We've all banded together and fought them off. But each time they come back stronger. I think you guys should invest in a barrier blast here. I'm just saying. We can't hold them off forever. Now, you're going to have to learn to protect yourself, my lad. You're going to have to become a monster wrangler. Do you know what one of them is? I think I can figure it out from the term. All right. Well, anyway, I'm talking about the mighty gladiators who marshal their monstrous troops in battle. I just know you'll be a natural lad. After all, it's in your blood. Why don't I get you started with one of my little lot? I'll ask you a few questions, and I'm sure we'll be able to pair you up with the perfect monster. Well, this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Would you say you prefer lovable monsters to more rugged types? And do you like more compact monsters? Oh wait, did I press yes for that? I pressed the A button, but I did not see a dialogue prompt. Alright, do I like compact monsters? Sure? Interesting indeed. I reckon the perfect match for you is... Who'd I get? I'm sure you'll get along famously. Oh, not a fright bulb. I need to know what your other options are, but... Are you happy with this monster? No. Then let's start again from the top. The monster I give you will depend on your answers, okay? You mean like a jolly cat? Would you say you prefer- Let's try yes and then no. And do you- Okay, I gotta be careful because the dialogue prompts are like- Wonderful monsters. Oh, there's more questions. Sure. Okay, this is all the same. Jolly Cat? I oh, I'm not Mudman. No, no Mud Mannequin. This monster. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kinda cheese this system chat. Let's... Mud Mannequin is a downgrade from Fright Bulb. And do you... No, and then we're gonna press no again. They just get even worse. Are you happy with this monster? Then let. Okay, last chance. Say... I'm gonna say no here. Would you prefer a monster with sleek skin to one that's on the? No. I'll settle for a platypunk. I will settle for a platypunk. Please give your monster a nickname. I'm terrible at nicknames. I just like call them by their default name. I'm, I'm so bad at naming them. Yeah, I'm just gonna call you platypunk. All right, platypunk seems like the best option. Looks like they've taken a shine to you. It was definitely better than the Cruel Cumber and the Mud Mannequin. The Fright Bulb would have been the second best pick. Assuming these are like all four of the picks. Now, it's time you learned the ABCs of Monster Wrangling. Let's head out of the village and get ready to rumble. Oh, I love the alphabet. It's like I'm in school all over again. I'm still in school, but you know what I mean.
Dude, if I don't see a Jolly Cat, I'm gonna... This game gets a 6 out of 10 at best. I'm in the plains now. I love these cherry blossom trees. Now then, let's turn you into a monster wrangler. We'll start with the basics. A monster wrangler's job is to train up their monsters to be good and strong. Lights, camera. Hey, did you, did you say something, Lime? Yeah, I was imitating a Hollywood director. It was totally me. Oh, right. Uh, mind saying it again? These old ears aren't what they used to be. Action! I'm here to make you a star! Oh, oh hi! For talent, and I could smell you a mile off. You're a natural, kiddo! I can see it now. Workshop your skills with me, and you'll have your name up in lights in no time! Yo, I love being famous. Blocking Nora! I see you're still as daft as a brush, Busy. Monty! It's been a while, but it's never too late. I'm all ears if you ever want to make a comeback. Right. Fizzy here may be a rubbin. But she's a first-rate instructor of monster wranglers. I reckon I can leave you in her more than capable hands. Right. I'm gonna head back to the shop. Drop by once you've finished your training. All right, babe. It's you and me now. Are you ready to shine? Lesson one. The basics. Defeating monsters in battle. <laughs> I love this little pose. Alright. Time for the moment of truth. What the heck is that thing? A bunny corn! I love bunny corns. They're wild monsters. Just bump into one. And get the action started. This is it, doll. Your first audition. Big smile now. You're gonna be somebody. Let's get it. Dude, this is the uh, moment of truth. Hit or miss. Mascot characters for me are either hit or miss. I either really like them and think they're funny, or I can't stand them. Two that I can't stand off the top of my head. Teddy, Persona 4. Naviru, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Oh, I can open my menu now, finally. From this section of the menu, you can change the order of the monsters in your party, select their tactics for battle, equip... And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I like, just started the game. I, I just want to look at the options. Yes. We need to lower the music a bit. This is as loud as it can be. Let's try that. We have Fizzy, I have a bit of faith that I am not going to mind Fizzy. We'll see how it goes, though. Mascot characters are normally very hit or miss. Come on. Like, no in-between. I, really, I either really like them or I really hate them. Just run right into a monster to start a fight. I'm sure you'll knock him dead, darling. Oh, you've been, uh, have you met my boy Sylvando? Love that guy. Found a smoked sirloin? I love sirloin. Fight me. Oh, the Dragon Quest 4 music. I expect the music to be primarily from Dragon Quest 4 because this being a Dragon Quest 4 prequel. Tell your party what to do by selecting orders or taxes from the menu. When you're ready, select fight, carry out orders. Select scout and your monster will perform a show of force if it succeeds. Oh, okay, so that's recruiting. Nice. Lee, classic. Get it. Get wrecked? How does this work? Now. I scout you now. 80%! Oh my word! Scouting failed at 80%? Excuse me? Or was that 80% like of it failing? Angry monster is not one to be taken lightly. The next attack will inflict much more damage. It's a slime. Like, what's it gonna do? Yeah, two damage. <laughs> 
Like, what's it possibly gonna do? Also, it seems like you can only scout once per battle. Which is interesting. Slime is defeated. Oh no, I failed at recruiting a slime. Done so soon. What did I say, kid? You're a natural. Just keep plugging away, and your monsters will grow up big and strong. Okay, since I lowered the music, let me try upping the game a little. We could do it at the Star Ocean 2 settings and see if that's good. Let me know how the game sounds, chat, as I do battles and play the game, basically. Next up, we'll try to scout a monster so it joins your team. All you have to do is hit a critter with a show of force. Get out there and give it a shot. You see, sometimes monsters will get right back up after a battle, wanting to join your squad. Just keep at it, superstar. Yeah, okay. And like not attack stuff? Is that is that what you just told me? Okay, I guess you can't like you can't like swing your sword out. I guess it makes sense because sorrow can't harm monsters, but I was hoping you can at least like swing your sword to initiate combat or whatever. Like in Dragon Quest XI. Hey, die? How dare you get to go first? Although you can have your one damage. I'm assuming the rule of thumb is gonna be hit then scout? Yeah. I have angered it. Enemy is very irritated. It's a slime, so like, what's it possibly gonna do? I'm in a frenzied state? What the heck? Is this like, pep up? During a mo battle, a monster will occasionally enter a frenzied state that lasts for three rounds. Not only will the monster's attributes- Okay, yeah, so this is similar to pep up. Essentially. The extra action is nice, though. Um, the slime is defeated. <laughs> I love sorrows like cross arms. Level up. Yo, four attack, three defense, two speed, and then one wisdom. Decent. Not too shabby. Bunny corn, you will be mine. Please let me recruit the bunny corn. I wish it showed your HP bar so I can know like when to scout. Maybe you just want to scout out the gate. Now. Only one way to find out though. Oh, 100%? Oh, let's go. Easy. Man, so I really just now. failed. You are one of us now. I really just failed like 280%, huh? <laughs> Thus is my luck. Alright, chat. This playthrough is officially complete. I got my bunny cord. That's all. Thanks for you watching. Yeah, I'm something of a gamer myself. All right, one more time. With feeling. If you want a monster to join your squad, you can either use a show of force, or you can simply defeat them in battle. If they get back up once the fight is won, then they want to team up with you. If you find they aren't willing to join you, try tossing them a beastie treat or two. When you scout a new monster, but haven't got space in your party, it'll be sent to your monster depot. Depo? Depo? Monty can handle the details. So if you want to know more, just ask him. Okay? I thought you pronounced that word depot. Like Home Depot. Spring. Is there a finer season? Just look at those gorgeous flowers. I'm honestly a bigger fan of summer, but spring is pretty pog. But you know, the time. Changing. 